In the currency quadrant, a good week for the March New Zealand dollar, strongest week on a percentage basis since about mid-December, and today was the strongest single session performance, again on a percentage basis, since about December 19th. The New Zealand dollar is now up three of the last four sessions, and since the low close on February 5th, it's rallied almost 1.5%, about 1.45%. Today, the high 61.59 was up 1.1% and the low 60.94.5 was actually a gap higher from yesterday's settlement of about seven basis points. We ended up finishing much closer to the highs than to the lows, up about eight tenths of 1%. The New Zealand cash rate, which is the rate set by the New Zealand Central Bank, has been held steady since about May 23rd. But the Kiwi outperformed its group of 10 peers this week as traders considered the possibility of another interest rate hike by the central bank. Inflation has been coming down in New Zealand since it peaked in mid-2022, well above 6%, but it still sits at a stubborn 4.7%. And it's New Zealand Central Bank has the same consensus as most other central banks where they want their inflation rate right around 2%. And as you can see by that 4.7%, we're still more than double that. So there are some traders and investors speculating that another rate hike is coming despite the long pause we've had in any activity. Also looking at the Chinese economy and the, China's, the Chinese markets, you look at the Hong Kong index, the Shanghai index, the last day that they traded, both negative closes again, and China is a major market for New Zealand exports, especially due dairy and wood. And it imports products such as electronics, machineries, and textiles from China. This trading relationship has contributed to New Zealand's economic growth in a large way since they signed their free trade agreement in 2008. So it makes sense to say that as China goes, so goes New Zealand. So keep an eye on that. China's still weak, but New Zealand's uh, dollar, the Kiwi, was a little bit stronger today and this week.